When I wake up in the morning and I'm in the center and then I'm gonna lift some weights. Then I go to the store and get something to eat. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna beast her cheeks. It's alright, cause it's Baba Tuesday. Yeah. February 26th. Today, February 26th, 2016. Damn, I'm looking mean. Got cut up, looking so clean. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Yo, what's up, everybody? Like I said before, I'm your host, Bye Bye Tuesday. I had to make a pit stop at the uh, gas station. Um, and I had to get some gas and some coolant for my car, for my whip. Um, today's going well. Good workout in the morning. Um, just feeling good, feeling great. Uh, just prepare for the day. I'm out in the streets. Um, before I get anything started, uh, just want to give thanks to my creator. Thank you for waking me up today. Um, I really do appreciate that. Um, because you didn't have to. Cause this life is crazy with all the up turns and the ups and downs and stuff and which is kind of ironic because right now there's a truck with like a bungalow carpet like wrapped up and i just got a final destination like shit is crazy out here but anyways thank you i'm sorry i cussed within this little yeah okay anyways how you guys doing today hey Hey, they say big dudes can't dance. Hold up. Let me find something we can dance. I'm, I'm going to show you. Let me find something. Come on. Hey. See? Mm. Ah, you can... Um, oh. All right. So, anyways, um, let's see. I want to give... I mean, I don't even know if this person is going to see it or these people... I want to give a special shout out to A Track, the super du the the producer slash DJ, Fool's Gold, got uh, got one of my favorite artists on his label, um, Danny Brown. I want to give a shout out to him because uh, during my cardio, which I do a lot of uh, sprints, I do a lot of sprints on the treadmill cardio, uh, I stumbled upon one of his mixes that I saw on YouTube. And I listened to it, and damn, that shit went hard. That shit went hard. I will actually put, I will put it, uh, the link down below. But uh, he had this one remix that he did with Justice, and I swear to you, I've never been to the UK, but I swear to you, I felt like I was in the episodes of Skins or Misfits, like it, like in a club or something, dancing. I was like, God damn, this is crazy. Shit, is that the, is that that rabbit dude? Oh shit, is that Effie? Oh shit, I was getting it in. I was running on like 12, 12.5. I was just whoo, whoo, whoo. So shout out to him. Thank you very much. That shit, that remix was fucking sick. That remix was sick. And I think Diplo was on it. Um, I don't know, maybe even Chromio. I'm not for sure. But the shit, the shit was awesome. I enjoyed it. And then they played this one remix. Can't give me the magic moment. Can't give me the missus. It could be the greatest. It could be the magic moment. Yeah, it's the worst of all. Yo, I follow her on Instagram. I can't forget. I forgot her name though. Yeah, she's dope. She's a good singer. Um, okay. So subject for today. How much money will it take for you to be happy? How much money will it take for you to be happy? That's a loaded question, right? 
because we are we are raised in a society where money, status, um, class, that's what's most important. And you have to get there by any means necessary, right? That any means necessary, I mean, that attitude, I mean, it's natural for some people. Some people are, you know, they can, they can step on toes, throw them elbows to get what they want, right? Some people um, get taken advantage of, and it all leads to money and success, right? So yeah, you have to ask yourself, how much money does it take for you to be happy, right? Is money, does money control you, or does money drive you for success? I mean, these are all things you got to think about, and you probably have think, thought about, right? For me, personally, I look at money like, one, I realize that money in this whole system shit is just fake. Like, money is nothing but a piece of paper with a number on it. That's it. If you would step back and look at the situation, that's what, that's what it is. But we treat it, we treat it much more than that because that's, I mean, that's how the system is set up. We stress about it. Some people kill for it, you know? Some people really take advantage of it. Some people show, use it for good. Some people use it, you know, for evil shit, you know? So, with that said, for me, money, I kind of treat like a game, right? So, uh... Shit, there's a cop right there. Cops is making me nervous and shit. What is that? Texas Department of Police Safety. So I treat money like a game, because I know it's I know in, in reality it's fake. Like what 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 what's really honestly is important. And I'm some of this shit that I'm like reading about and doing my own research, like, listen, I'm 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 getting out of debt. I'm gonna buy land, I'm gonna grow my own food. At the end of the day, that's my ultimate goal. Yes, I feel like I'm going to make some money. And don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not materialistic. But yes, I want that Rari. Yes, I want that Lambo. Yes, I want that Hennessy Venom. Venom. That Hennessy Venom. You know? Yes, I want, you know... I want to be able to take trips whenever I want to. But also, I want to use money to help out other people in need, too. Like, I want to invest in programs that I'm thinking about that's going to help out communities and maybe set an example so when somebody else runs into money they can do the same thing you know maybe somebody's already already doing what I'm doing now and I learned about it and I forgot who did it but subconsciously like I want to help out people I want to help out people in need I want to invest in people's ideas that's what I want to use money for like like philanthropy is like really big in my in my head you know and I mean, I don't even have to be recognized for it. I don't care, you know? So I I was kind of feeling, making myself feel guilty, which is ironic because I preach about not letting people make you feel guilty. But yeah, I, I um, made myself feel guilty about like, man, like I want to help out people, help out the world, but I also want like these Ferraris and shit, right? But um, I just come to realize as long as, I'm not attached to none of that shit. It's going to be all good. Like if I, if I, when I get a Ferrari, Lambo, or a big house or whatever, whatever I'm going to get, when I get that, like I'm not going to be attached to it. If I lose it, I lose it, right? And I've, and one thing that I grew accustomed to was living under my needs, right? Like just to save money and live under my, just only only have just what I need to survive, right? There's a thing called living under your needs, living at your needs, and living above your needs. If you live under your needs, you're making money. I mean, you might not be flossing, balling, you know, making my ends. Flossing, balling, making my end. You know what I mean? You not, might not be doing that, but you living it up, you got money in the bank. Show me what you think. I got money in the bank, show me what you think, right? Living at your needs is more like living paycheck to paycheck, right? 
most people live at paycheck to paycheck. And you're just like, golly, this is crazy. And granted, listen, man, I got two jobs. I work for myself and um, working for a magazine. It's crazy, right? Then you got people living over their needs. These are the these are the 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 uh, thirty thousand millionaires, right? They make probably like thirty thousand dollars a year, but they're living like a millionaire. I mean, they 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 have the fancy, they have the BM Dubs, they have the Mercedes, they got the new phones. They always uh, they always dapper, you know, so fresh, so clean, clean, you know. They buying drinks, they buying bottles, they flossing on the Instagram, you know, but they in debt, right? They using credit. They ain't telling you that they baby mama or they mama mama or they mama 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 paying for their phone bill. They ain't say, and I'm not saying all of them have baby mama, mama mama, mama mama paying for their phone bill, but there's a lot, listen, perception, and this, I see, you see how I go off, I'm trying to talk about money and shit, but listen, perception versus reality. When you understand perception versus reality, then you will start waking up and seeing the world as what it is and how people function. You know what I mean? People, there's a quote my mom used to say, like competing, like trying to be the Joneses or competing with the Joneses. And more or less what that says is like, if your next door neighbor or somebody that you know, get a new house, guess what you gotta do? You usually gotta get a new house to make, uh, renovations to your house to make it you know compete to you're always competing with somebody if they get a new if they get a truck if they get that new silverado you know what i mean you got to get you you know you got to get yourself like that raptor right you know so you're always competing but me i'll just fall back right i'm gonna just fall back you would never really under you never really know what i like and it, I'm, I, I was gonna say you never really know what I have, but like if I'm pulling, if I'm pulling up on motherfuckers with like a Ferrari or something, people are gonna say, damn, you know. But like my brother said, man, he was like, yo, if you can't buy that shit three times over at that moment, and you don't really need that, whatever you're trying to buy, then you shouldn't buy. It. You know what I mean? So that's my philosophy, and um, I mean that's why I'm able to like take trips and stuff like that like I'm investing I'm not buying materialistic stuff with my money right I'm doing stuff that's gonna create memories and other opportunities for me you have to invest in yourself you know when a lot of people make money they just blow it you know I've seen many of dollars thrown at chicks in the strip clubs there's nothing wrong with that but damn you can invest I mean shit you can invest that money into something else, but who am I? You know what I mean? Who am I to judge somebody else's actions? I, but I know what I would do. And I'm speaking from my perspective. Um, so, money, I know how much I'm worth. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm preaching about helping other people out or whatnot, but when it really comes to business, business, Yes, it will be all about that money because that's how society set up, right? There's the thing, don't want to don't want to be taken advantage of, right? But if somebody's gonna try to use money against me, that shit ain't gonna work. Listen, I'm pretty smart. I don't have no kids. I don't have like like I I, I just have to rely on myself, right? So people get kind of stuck in a rock in a hard place because their past decisions will. For instance, their past decisions or their environment or whatnot, they will, you know, sign a contract or get money just to improve their situation just right there and hoping that it'll become better. But me, like I've made so many sacrifices and shit that um, I know when an opportunity comes and people throw, start throwing money at me, if it's not going to be, if it's not going to be one beneficial to me in the long run other than money if that's the case if it's not going to be beneficial to me um and if it goes kind of uh, against my moral my own moral code then i don't have to take it i don't you know i've been living under my needs for so long that like hell i know like i'm cool i'm cool at it you know so 
those are some of the things that you have to think about. Some people be like, oh man, I need just a million dollars, yo. But and I need ten million dollars, yeah. But you have to also think about it. Like, there's a lot of people with a lot of money out there and they're committing suicide. And why is that? Is it because, I mean, if people say money can't buy happiness, okay. Money can buy probably, you know, temporary happiness. But then there's going to be a point where that hole inside of you, whatever it is, you're going to try to fill it up with, you know, money or what you can get with money. And that's not going to help out. So, it, so how much money do you really need? Uh, whenever you hear that or, or if you ever get in a situation where you're thinking about like, you know, yo, money this, money that, yo, think about like, like your internal happiness, right? Make sure you're good on the inside, you know, so you won't feel empty or whatnot and end up having all this money and still being miserable and depressed and shit. It's just kind of, it, it, it almost baffles me because I don't see myself like committing suicide or anything like that because I've been through so much already and I know, and I know more people's probably been more, been through more than me and they're still surviving. So like I would, I would never drive myself to that point, but you have people out there with millions, billions of dollars and they're damn empty inside and that just goes to show you money does money really truly buy happiness right don't get me wrong let me let me get 10 million dollars i'm good on the inside so let me get 10 million dollars i'm gonna turn that 10 million dollars into 20 turn that 20 into 30 right then i can really start helping people out but that's it that was my question for today um, if you have any answers or whatnot, if you think I'm just full of shit, please let me know, right? Because at least he watches their video. <laughs> so I hope my love so it's nasty the whole time. So with that said, I'm gonna say this: learn as much as you can, become your own guru, because nobody knows your body better than you do. I'm your host, Baba Tuesday. You guys, it's the weekend coming up. Whatever you do, just be safe, wrap it up, pull out, you know, if shit don't seem right, abort mission, right? Fall back, recuperate, and start your day over again, right? Every time I see your face, I make sure you wanna. I belong to you, I belong. I'm